Guys, this is not what I want to see. I got the crank pulley off. I got the little piece of belt off. And I don't know if you can see that. Well, y'all won't believe this. I was at a stoplight and I heard some noise. I thought my motor was knocking, but my doggone serpentine belt then came off. And I started hearing this flapping noise. Serpentine belt is gone. And hopefully I can make it home. Yes, mommy here. Just got home after six miles and it's at 12.1 volts. I smell oil, so I guess it's from the tensioner leaking. Let me see if I can find a belt. Uh, the water pump belt, the stretch to fit belt on the back is still fine. It looks like a lot of the front belt, alternator belt and everything is wrapped around the pulley. But I doubt that I'll figure out why it did it. But I need to get a belt on it. I might get two belts just to be on the safe side. Let's see if she starts. Any hey, survey says. Oh yeah, she's starting. So I may need to get a tensioner because I think that's all the hydraulic fluid from the tension. All right, so $197 later. So I got the wheel off and it is very wet under here. And at first I thought this was hydraulic oil from the tensioner, but this is looking like, this is looking like motor oil and not hydraulic oil from the tensioner. So let me get some stuff apart and I'll be back with a synopsis in a few minutes. That's not good at all. Got the panels off. You can see that the belt is wrapped all around the pulley. So that's all belt right there. So I need to get that belt from unraveled. It's all back behind the pulley. And good news, well, good and bad news. The tensioner, I think it's fine. So that's $170 I can get back. But I need to figure out where all this oil came from. I wasn't trying to get this intimate tonight, but I guess I'm gonna have to whip this pulley off so that I can get the belt out from behind it. And hopefully the belt has not destroyed the crank seal because that what sucks and that also would make a lot of sense so wish me luck on getting this crank bolt out and wish me luck on the crank seal not being destroyed as this is not what i want to see i got the crank pulley off i got the little piece of belt off and i don't know if you can see that but that gasket that crank seal is not straight it is lifting away and that's where the oil is slinging from. So I'm gonna try my best to just knock it back in there and hope for the best. Say a prayer for me. So I found my one and a half inch socket. So this is roughly about the right size. So let's see if we can get this to work. Did I give an update saying that I got it? back in and it looks like it should hopefully it seals hopefully i didn't nick the crank and have it leak hopefully it works the crank pulley is going back on and it is a keyed crank pulley uh so when it goes on one way so the time and everything still be straight everything is back on i want to crank it up and see if we have any oil issues with oil leaking from around the crank seal so far so good and as long as it stays dry, I'm pleased and good to go. About 10 minutes later, she's still dry as a bone. So I'm going to call it good. So we are back in business, back running, back on the ground, wheel torque down. I cleaned the, well, I kind of wiped the oil residue off the passenger side front wheel. The belt is belting. I don't know why it broke. Um, I honestly wish I knew why the belt broke. But I don't know why the belt broke. I didn't see anything obvious to break the belt. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit here and idle for a little bit longer just to make sure that everything stays dry and that nothing starts to leak again. You know, this video is just to kind of let people know that stuff happens. You know, if you own a car or if you own 
anything a car a house mini bikes four wheelers atvs side by sides a bicycle a tricycle and a cycle it doesn't matter stuff is going to happen stuff is going to break and it's going to break at the absolute worst time it's going to break potentially when you're at your lowest when you're on your last dollar when you've had just the roughest day in the world like today is monday of all days and it was not a great day you know it could have been a lot worse but you know stuff is going to happen you know when when your life when you think your life is on his last leg on his last string and then you're driving home just want to get home and then your battery light comes on you know you start hearing some like i thought that my motor was knocking oh i thought my transmission had grenaded that's the sound that i heard i'm in the car with my kids at a stoplight and i'm like what is that turn the car off noise stopped turn it back on noise kept going again you know it's just one of them things where you know it happens at the most you know unopportune times but you know i'm thankful that i know how to i know my way around stuff i didn't know what the issue was but i can figure stuff out and shout out to my pops for that but you know just let you know shit happens it is it is what it is it happens every day but don't let it get you down there's never a good time for something to break it just it isn't there's never a good time for something to break but just know that it's not the end of the road it may be a setback but you can come back from it so just keep that in mind that's my little spiel for today i'm gonna let this thing run for you know another 10 minutes or so while i clean all this stuff up and it just gonna be what it is and hopefully it'll be fine tomorrow keep your head up hold your head up and i mean hope for the best you gotta find the silver lining in everything that happens in your life so until next time y'all take it easy think build enjoy peace